Seashells, located in East Africa, is comprised of about 115 islands, with lush tropical vegetation, beautiful beaches, and a wide variety of marine life. Our accommodation in Mahi was located right on the ocean in Anse Royal and was only a 10 minutes walk from supermarkets, restaurants and cafes. So excited, we just walked to this nearby beach to enjoy and to explore the area. The day we landed in Mahi, we got to know that everything is closed in Mahi due to an explosion last night. Luckily, this nearby restaurant was open, so we enjoyed this delicious Creole lunch there. Uh, for some reason we were unable to book the ferry online so today we are heading to the ferry terminal first to book the ferry to Ladi. Eden Plaza Mall provides an ultimate shopping experience with more than 70 shops and restaurants. But unfortunately, all shops were closed during our visit because of the explosion. One single scoop or double scoop? A single scoop of the coconut.
For my love of nature and flowers, we first headed to this exotic flower garden. So I just learned it is called hanging crab gloss. Beautiful. That's beautiful. This place is located on the hills and it was such a challenge for us to drive there. But the views from the garden were spectacular. This is going to be our accommodation for the next two days.
To get to the world's most photographed beach, we had to walk through this La Union Estate farm after purchasing the tickets, which were good until the next day. For the dinner, we stop by at this reggae bar.
After biking for at least two hours up and downhill on the north end of Nadi, we relaxed at this incredibly beautiful beach, Ans Patak. It was time for the glass boat ride, so we headed back to Ansos Darja on the southwest end. On the first day, we visited World Heritage Site Valetemai Nature Reserve, which was just 15 minutes drive from our accommodation. Well, you have varieties, eh? You can have very young ones up to one that is 200 years old. Eh? I will show you. And it's really. These leaves are like. Humongous. They use it as pipe to take water from the stream to bring to the to the house. So still good camu for it. In fact, it's the research team that puts all these pitfalls because there are the, they have their studies that they are doing with this yellow crazy ants because we have not finished totally. Yeah. But you can see the green mushroom where they put this uh, liquid, the poison. Yeah. Yeah, we've kept a few of them still on the property just to be a safe uh, yeah. control.
Even though we had rented a car, but my husband was not very fond of driving on these steep hills of Praslin. So we got ourselves a taxi to get to this popular beach, Ans Lazio. Although the island is super beautiful, every single beach is breathtaking, it's very nice, clean, everything is good. Um, but one thing I would like to mention is the roads are not safe. So if you are a novice or you haven't ever driven onto the steep hills, sharp curves, it's better to hire a taxi, especially on the island of Pralin. The people here are also super friendly and helpful and no matter where you go, you find yourself safe here. This island is not cheap, it's very very expensive, especially the food and cash is the main mode of transaction in most of the places here. The temperature here was still like 40 degrees Celsius at all three islands. I would recommend bringing SPF 60 plus because I got my hand, neck, and my face sunburned really really bad and we had to rush to the hospital to see the doctor. Our stay in all three accommodations was very comfortable. William at No Naughty, Penny at Chalet Anstey Reunion and Ash at Coco de Mer Hotel were always there when we needed something. And I would specifically mention one of the staff members at Coco de Mer Hotel, Ahmed, who went above and beyond to make sure that our stay is comfortable. We really had a wonderful time at this island and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button as there is a lot of effort goes into making videos like this. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to show support and I'll see you soon in the next video.